good YouTube is White Mike and today I'm gonna be doing a special unboxing now again I mentioned this before this is one of those videos where it's not gonna mimic any of the content that I usually create which it's not photo video electronics related these are shoes kicks trainers whatever you want to call it even if you're not here for that I do have some photography videos coming. I'm also gonna record my review unboxing of the Peak Design capture clip. So I'm gonna do that one right after this one. I actually already recorded that video, long story. But I'll still try to make this video some type of videography related, whether I tell you my camera settings or show you how I shoot the B-roll footage of this. So, I mean, you can watch or just wait for the next one. I would hope that you would watch. Just let me know how the quality is or the b-roll and all that stuff so anyways what do we have here we have the lebron 16 watch the thrones and this is honestly this is my first set of 16s i have a crap load of 15s and this is the first pair of 16s that i thought were actually worth buying aside from the what does or the uh i promises which i don't have either of those but i did get these so we're gonna unbox the lebron 16 watch the thrones let's get into it All right guys, so I have the LeBron 16 Watch the Thrones here in a sealed box. I did get these on release day, well the next day from footlocker.com. Now you could purchase them at the stores on All-Star Weekend or win them through the sneakers app. I did not get it from either of those places and I also did not buy these from StockX. They have a crap load of these on StockX. Hopefully you all buy those and wear them so that mine will increase in value. Thank you. Anyhow, these right here. Let's open them. Again, I got these from footlocker.com and I had to like finesse the website cause it like went down immediately. There were so many people on there and I somehow got me a pair. So we're gonna be careful and open these up. I don't wanna cut the box. So the LeBron 16 Watch the Thrones are just a remake of I believe the LeBron 9 postseason ones. And I mean, they're pretty spot on. Some of that stuff. So I have my receipt. I paid 226 cents. 185 was the retail, but plus taxes, all that stuff. And just to prove to you that I got these from Foot Locker, they gave me a save $25 coupon. So uh, if anybody wants to use that, I'm not gonna use it. There you go. Let's turn these around. I gotta keep an eye on my cameras, man, because like I said, I recorded a video yesterday and I freaking, I swear I pressed record on the top camera view. That was supposed to be my first video with the top camera view. This is really my first one that I'm recording because that one didn't work out. I'm gonna take the box out. Jesus. So these are size 11, which is my size. All right, so moment of truth. Look at that, brand new. So you get this card with the shoes. It says, these shoes have been created in limited quantities and are intended to be collectibles. Lace lock is for casual wear only. Please remove prior to active play. Thank you. And it pretty much has that in every other language you can think of. My card is bent, no big deal. Which I mean, it's probably common sense, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody who does it. They just have to put it in there because someone's gonna do it. So let's peel this back. Ooh. Beautiful shoe. That is a beautiful shoe. That stuff's not in there. Of course, you got the uh, gold check, the laces up here on the top, that floral pattern. You got the LeBron James right here in the front. Toe, you got a little glossy area on the toe, which is nice. A little badge on the back. All this mimics the uh, the nine postseasons, and on the inside it says LeBron James. So, and in the bottom you have the the Dunk Man in gold. The craziest thing about these shoes are the soles actually glow in the dark. You kind of see it. Overall, to me, this is a beautiful shoe. 
top to bottom. I mean, the detail is in the work. This, it looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. It's more of a, it's just like a mesh material in a carbon fiber basket weave. You do have the gold splatter in the bottoms. I mean, very nice overall. You also get the OG style thrones. Take this off. They come just plastic. But, I mean, that's a very nice piece. So you get these nice OG Watch the Throne lace locks. They're very high quality, very heavy. I like them, so. If I were to wear these shoes out, I would definitely, I would definitely be putting these on there. We got nice shoe trees in here. I mean, overall, the quality of the shoe is just something else. The laces, they lay flat, and you have the LeBron logo right here. This little pull tab, it says nine on the back because of the LeBron nine, I believe. And that is just, I love the smell of new shoes. <laughs> say nine so obviously a remake of the LeBron 9 postseason Watch the Thrones which were released with the uh, Kanye and Jay-Z Watch the Throne album and these are probably my favorite 16s for sure and one of my favorite shoes when these first came out I wasn't really too crazy about this front lip I thought it should dip down even be more linear it's okay when it's clear. What doesn't make sense is when this whole part's black and this one piece is white. It just looks ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, that's the Watch the Thrones. I'm not gonna be putting these on my feet anytime soon, but if I find the need, I will definitely be wearing these. And yeah, these are just some sick, sick picks. That's my unboxing of the LeBron 16. Watch the Throne shoes, which were released on All-Star Weekend in 2019. And I love these shoes. They are just crazy, crazy nice. All the details, the glow in the dark soul. I mean, these things are just, in person, like on a website, they look like one thing, but in person, they're just like crazy looking. So, so let me know what you think about the LeBron 16 Watch the Throne shoes, if you like them. If you got them, you know, overall thoughts, any questions you have about them, all that good stuff, leave a comment down below. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I will make another shoe video from time to time. I have a whole collection I wanna run through and I know it's not everybody's thing, but again, I'm gonna make the videos that I like to make, primarily photography, videography, tips, tricks, electronics, things like that. But yeah, for sure, if you want more videos like this, Please subscribe, leave a comment again. I'll get back to you pretty much immediately. Hit the like button if you like this video or dislike button, whatever. And notification bell if you're into that. That's a wrap. So I'm on set right now. I just shot the main video for the LeBron Watch the Throne 16s. I'm about to shoot the B-roll. I got the shoes here. The A73, the 518, and the Ronin S. So this is gonna be shooting at 120 frames a second in S-Log2. Uh, we're gonna be doing a flip from PP6 to PP7. Our color balance is 4600. And my shutter speed is 250th with an ISO of 800. I might change that ISO to 1000, but right now it looks good. And then I got the glide gear right here. So I recorded the main video on the Ninja V, Ninja 5, with the camera that I have right now. 
And this camera is the a7 III with 28-75 Tamron 2.8 shooting at f4. And the top up view, which was here, the top up view here that was on my C stand was actually was actually at f5. And of course we got the 120D and the Young Nuo YN360. And here's a quick look at the rest of my collection. So I have tons and tons of these kicks. I want to just kind of review, but yeah, I mean, as far as <laughs> the photography, the video aspect of this, pretty straightforward. I got Rode microphone boom at the top. I also have another boom connected to the Zoom 6 at the bottom. This is kind of my go-to setup. I just implemented the top-down view. So hopefully if you like that view, let me know. If you think it should be more at a lower angle zoomed in we can do that as well but i think it's gonna turn out great so i'm gonna shoot this b-roll and that's gonna be pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed the video again like subscribe etc blah